When I was young, I did some unique things that you normally wouldn't do at that age. I began to volunteer with hospice organizations, with people who were thinking about the end of their lives, and I had the opportunity to uh, film their stories. And I've seen the power of being able to tell their story and knowing that their voice will be heard. For me, that changed the course of uh, my career, my life, really. During medical school and residency, I saw that there were another group of individuals, individuals with substance use disorders, that weren't having the same opportunity as other people to tell their story. Then I thought, hmm, you know, this group is similar in some ways to the hospice group. They feel like their voice isn't heard. And that's when I started thinking, hey, maybe I, I want to be a psychiatrist, but a psychiatrist that specializes in, in addiction medicine. Through my life and through my work, I've seen so many friends, family members, patients suffer with substance use disorders. I thought physicians would benefit from hearing of people's stories. Or the online videos that we created highlight people in recovery. You know, I'm at the right place at the right time. Part of our goal is to make everyone aware of their attitudes towards patients with substance use disorders, but also to help them think about substance use in a different way, that it's a brain disease and not a moral failing, and uh, to do their best to, to take care of them. The amazing thing about Weill Cornell Medicine, New York Presbyterian Hospital, is that here we do treat every individual like an individual. I really feel that people are doing the best they can, and they deserve our empathy and hope.